And in my dad's text, he says, we'll eat at 3.30. And I say, cool. We get there at 3.30. Nothing's ready. It's okay. It's okay because nothing's ever on time. I just accept that. Nothing is ever, ever, nothing is ever on time, right? People say, yeah, I'll be there at three. They show up at 3.05 and just that's how the world works, okay? Remember in school? Remember in school when they were like, hey, uh, you know, if you're late, you get fucking detention or demerits or whatever it is, or it affects your grade. And this is, <laughs> and this is, uh, and this is to prep you in life because when you're late for your job, you get fired and you're, and then you grow up and you're like, fucking no, I don't dude who people have been late for work for like 30 minutes and, and people are like, don't do it again, dude. It's fine. If you're in high school right now and you're late, it doesn't fucking matter. Show up 15 minutes late. What the fuck are they going to do? Anyway, that's just some secret shit I'm telling you right now. Um, but so I show up at 3.30. It's not ready. It's all good. You know, even I was probably late. I was probably 3.35, 3.45. I might even showed up at fucking 3.50. And the, the, the turkey wasn't ready. And that's okay, right? My dad, uh, it gets to be like 4.30. And I say, you know, me and my brother are like, what the fuck? You know, we're starting to, I can't imagine what it sounded like to my dad. Like, what the fucking fuck? What the fucking, what the fucking talk. My mom, what the fucking, what are we talking? And we say to mom, say, What's going on with the food? He said 3.30, right? And she said, yeah, he wanted you to be here at, by 3.30. I said, well, he technically said he wanted us to eat at 3.30. And I knew you were going to say this, so I checked earlier to make sure that that was what he said. And he said he was going to eat at 3.30. And he says, yeah, but you don't even want to know what happened. I said, well, what the fuck happened? And she starts laughing. And I'm like, what? And she says, yeah, he left the crock pot in the oven and he preheated the crock pot. And I was like, huh? And she said, he, he, he keeps the crock pot in the oven for storage. And he preheated the oven with the crock pot in it <laughs> and left it in there and fucking just went to watch TV. He was like, got to preheat the oven. Didn't realize he was regular heat in the crock pot. Went to go. I, and so I walked over to dad and I was like, dad. And. What happened? And he said, guy fucking, I didn't know I, I put the crock, that I keep the crock pot in the crock pot in the oven. And I, I forgot I keep it in there. And I started the fucking thing to preheat it. And then I realized it like, you know, 30 minutes later, I was like 30 minutes later. How did you realize this? And he's, he said <laughs> the whole house smelled like fucking plastic. And I was like, really? Where were you? And he was like, I was watching TV in the tea room. Tea room is clear across the house. So that means that the fucking plastic on the crock pot went over like smoke tickling Donald Duck's nose while my dad was watching fucking combat or whatever the bullshit show we, that aired in 1948 that he's watching on fucking the movie channel or whatever the fuck, you know? And it, and it, and it's just the crock pot plastic is just doing this under his fucking 73-year-old nose and he gets up and it was all melted. <laughs> so he fucking Took the, he, had to, he had to wait for the crock pot to cool down, take it out, and now he can't use that oven. They got two ovens, so now he's cooking everything in the one oven. And so we end up eating at like five, and one of the people in the fucking Thanksgiving had to leave, so they didn't even eat. And my dad was so fucking mad, dude. And my, when my dad's mad, he just goes, God damn it. Like, that's what he does, dude. He goes, God damn it. So they left and they're like, here it is. I hope it's good. I don't know if it's good. I only had one oven. I planned for two ovens. I only, I left a fucking crock pot in the thing, dude. And we fucking ate it. And everyone's like, wow, this is amazing. Wow. This is really good. And he's like, oh, good. I was worried. And let me tell you something, dude. It wasn't that good. Okay. And I'm coming clean with you guys because I respect you. All right. The turkey was dry. Now here's the other thing. Turkey is kind of always dry. That's why you have the gravy. That's why you have the gravy. I'm not even a gravy guy, but I use gravy on Thanksgiving because you because turkey is usually dry. It's really hard to cook turkey. And I know that because people tell me, people close to me tell me, I don't know that because I cook because I don't cook because I fucking hate cooking. But I trust some people and those people tell me cooking turkey is very hard. And that's why you have the gravy, all right? So I poured that gravy on there and I still tasted dried turkey and I drove home and on the way home, I was like, Hey dude, now can we talk about it? The turkey wasn't good. And people were like, Oh, I thought it was really good. And I was like, are you fucking actually serious right now? And they were like, yeah. I was like, you really telling me that that turkey be bussing? And they were like, the turkey be bussing. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm wrong, dude. I guess I'm wrong. 
But dude, the fact that my dad cooked the crock pot for 30 minutes and ruined the oven and has to get a new crock pot and ruined turkey. Amazing. With one click of the fucking wrist, dude.